Hi everyone, Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me. I have a question for you today about value and purpose in life. How do women in their 60s find meaning and purpose after the normal relationships, you know, of being a mom, uh, having a family, working in a, a job and community, how that all changes as you get a little bit older and how we find value in our lives. One thing for me has been um, to, to talk to and, and share my, my experiences and my wisdom with younger women. Um, I wrote an article a few months ago for Huffington Post about this, and I just asked the community, um, 60 and Me, to tell us what, uh, what they would like to say in terms of advice. What one word of wisdom would they give? And the responses were incredible. We had about 20,000 uh, Facebook likes. People just valued so much having older women give them, you know, just those little snippets of advice that would be valuable um, as they're getting older. And you'd be surprised actually how many younger people are worried about this and concerned. So some of the things I think that people said were very enlightening. And I've got to be honest, one of the things that people, that women said, which was so funny in my opinion, was don't marry that guy. And of course, what they meant there was, you know, you don't have to marry the first person that asks you. You don't have to fall passionately in love with the first guy that comes into your life. And I think part of that is just as you're younger, you have such an amazing, you know, love of life and passion for the future. And you want to build something together with someone. But I think the advice from older women who have maybe had a few disappointments is to um, just take your time. You'll find the right person and uh, things will last if they're meant to. So that's the first piece of advice. Another thing was to not focus so much on anti-aging, to not worry about the wrinkles. You know, let those be the roadmap of your life. And these little laugh lines and wrinkles are just an indication of all the wonderful experiences that you've had. So don't focus on anti-aging. Just worry about, uh, don't worry, <laughs> just enjoy your life and, and uh, live it fully. Another piece of advice that, I, that we gave was to make friendships and to build circles of community, especially um, of women. Because um, as you get older and you're, you know, the relationships break down, you're not with you know, other moms anymore or other um, colleagues at work, you find that you, you, know, you're, you need people in your life who know you who understand you and know your journey and, and know kind of where you are in, you know, in this, this cycle and this navigation that you're going through as an older woman. I think another thing was to not obsess about you know, life so much, not be so serious, to be a warrior, not a worrier. <laughs> And you know, but by that I mean not to not be concerned about things. Of course, you have to make good choices, and you have to be serious about that. But also, you know, just laugh at yourself now and again. Don't take it too seriously. You know, the, see these uh, mistakes that you make in life as lessons. And I guess the other piece of advice is to ultimately know that right now you're doing the best you can. This is what you know. This is your world. This is your, you know, your definition of, of what you can manage. And you just do what you can. You just live in the present. So those were some of the things of pieces of advice that um, that women gave to younger women. But what would you say? What is one or two pieces of advice that you would give to a younger woman or or, or guy about growing older, about aging? Put your comments in the section below and let's start a conversation. I'd like to know what you feel on reflection uh, would be a useful piece of advice to give to a younger person. Thanks everyone.